We've all heard of ethanol. We know it's a clean, affordable domestic fuel. But what exactly is it? Ethanol is ethyl alcohol, an alcohol produced from plant materials that contain starches and sugars like corn, sorghum, sugar beets, even switchgrass. In our country, corn is the predominant plant source used to make ethanol. So how do you get ethanol from corn? It's a simple biological process which utilizes some very sophisticated techniques and equipment. It starts when shelled corn arrives at the facility and is quality checked. The corn is then ground to a fine granular consistency so that the starch matter in the kernel is exposed. The dry cornmeal is mixed with water to form a slurry mixture called mash. The pH is adjusted and the mash is heated to a certain temperature. Enzymes are added and at the proper pH and temperature, the cornstarch is converted into complex sugars. After this liquefaction process, more heat is added to cook the mash, which kills unwanted bacteria. The mash is then cooled to around 90 degrees and sent to fermentation vessels. Now we're ready for the next step, fermentation. Another enzyme is added to further break down the sugars into the simple sugar dextrose. Yeast is added. The yeast consume or eat the dextrose. Fermentation lasts between 40 and 80 hours, and as they do their job, yeast release carbon dioxide and convert the sugars into ethanol. Once fermentation is complete, the resulting mixture is called beer and is about 17 to 18 percent ethanol by volume. The beer is pumped to the distillation towers to begin the process of separating the pure ethanol from the other liquids and solids. Heat is applied in the first distillation column, causing the ethanol vapors to separate from the liquid and rise to the top of the column, where they exit and flow to the next column. What's left behind in the first column is now called whole stillage and is further processed into valuable animal feed co-products or other renewable fuels such as biodiesel. More heat is applied in the second column and the ethanol again rises to the top and is now further concentrated to 95% ethanol. These ethanol vapors then exit the column and pass through a condenser, which turns the vapor back to a liquid. Now in liquid form, the ethanol passes through a molecular sieve process to extract the small amounts of remaining water. This results in the final ethanol product, which is about 99% ethanol. It is transferred to storage tanks and then loaded onto rail tank cars, cargo tank trucks, or barges for shipment. In the process to make ethanol, nothing goes to waste. The distiller's grain becomes a nutritious livestock feed. The distiller's oil co-product is used to produce renewable diesel fuel, and carbon dioxide from fermentation goes into carbonated beverages. There you have it. That's how corn becomes ethanol. And once ethanol is blended with gasoline, it becomes a high-performance fuel that's good for your car because it runs cleaner and cooler. It's good for your country because it adds American jobs and reduces U.S. dependence on foreign oil. And it's better for your environment because it's a renewable fuel that greatly reduces harmful tailpipe emissions. And to think, it all started with corn.